Welcome to MilkAdvocate.com. I'm your host, Marshall. And I'm your friend, Quinn. And today we've got two new exciting milks for you. Let's start it off. All right. So. No, first is the worst. Yeah, we'll start. We don't know that yet, Quinn. We yeah, you're right. We don't know that. In this world, we haven't Never tasted reviewed it. this one yet. Uh, we've got some Blue Diamond Almond Chocolate Milk in a box. Mmm. And we've got Crescent Ridge 2% regular in a glass bottle. Mm. Today we're answering the hard questions, what does milk mean? All right, well, let's get started. Let's get started. Let me pour you a glass of this Almond Breeze brand almond milk. Quinn, shake. It's a frothy milk. That actually looks. Let me pour you a big glass, Marshall. Oh, I know you're enough. gonna like that's this. Enough. And some for me. <laughs> Corn, it's like you know how this will taste. No, I don't. <laughs> All right. Still sucks. Cheers. Cheers, Corn. Tallman's. Uh, yep. Tastes like it came out of the <laughs> municipal tap just yesterday. It smells vaguely of chocolate, tastes mostly of water. I mean, chocolate is like a high rated ingredient, but it does not taste anything like chocolate. No, it's just, it's not there. Marshall, I have an idea. What's that, Quinn? Um, on the back here, there's a really good description of this almond milk almost written like from the point of view of sort of a corporate milk reviewer. <laughs> um, I want to see how it goes up against your rate description of this milk. So I think maybe we should line for line okay. switch back and forth. So you'll describe a line and then I'll describe okay. what it is. And being milk reviewers of the people, we'll see if it lines up with the milk reviewer of corporations. Right, of corporate America. There's ten lines here. Oh, wow. Okay. Most of them are one word, All right. <laughs> but that's just graphic design, you know. Uh, so I'll start off. Line one. Almond breeze. Chocolate milk. Almond milk is. Watery and tasteless. An all-natural. Bland. Great tasting. But not so great. Non-dairy beverage in all caps. Which makes sense because it doesn't taste like dairy. It is rich and sour, <laughs> creamy with very little cream, a pleasant <laughs> but unpleasant aftertaste. And that's it. There you have it. I think that pretty much <laughs> summarizes the huge dichotomy between uh, For the People Milk reviewers and Big Milk. Yeah. And I think I've heard you mention this before, but it's weird that non-dairy milks don't include fat like i know they're right. trying to carry cater to some like health crowd but like put some if you want to if you're going to call it creamy right dip some cream in your milk right at the very least some gallon gum <laughs> all right next we've got a beautiful crescent ridge glass and the fun thing about the glass is you put down a deposit wait marshall I've got almond milk all over my mouth. My taste buds are erupting with almond milk. And before I taste that sweet nectar, I want to get rid of this. How are we going to do it, Connie? How are we going to do it? Marshall, How? would you be a huge pal and fetch me a sharp knife and something to cut on? All right. Meanwhile, I'm going to go get something else for us. And we're each responsible for bringing palate cleansers. Right. Last week, I brought sake. This week, Quinn brought... I have... An unripe Hayachi persimmon. This thing is a real treasure of the botanical world, and I'm going to tell you why. I don't know if anyone out there has ever had the pleasure of eating one of these. Um, well, I, maybe I won't describe it yet. Uh, Quinn, let's try saying that with our audience. Yeah. Uh, we've got an unripe Hayachi persimmon. persimmon. So uh, I'm going to cut you a little slice here, and uh, you're going to eat it. And I'm also going to eat it. <laughs> you better eat it, too. I will. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is a really unique experience. <laughs> and you'll see why, I hope, in a minute. Is it disgusting? So, cheers. Cheers. It'll, it'll rip your palate 
clean. <laughs> what? I, I hope, at least. Do I want to eat it? No, just bite it like a juicy <laughs> orange. <laughs> fuck. That's not fuck. Man, that's so disappointing. <laughs> it's ripe enough. Ugh. What? What's supposed to happen? If you get one of these that's not ripe, like, not quite ripe enough, it's so astringent that it instantly just dries your whole mouth out, like, so dry to the point that you can feel and hear your teeth, like, squeaking against your lips. But this is fine. That uh, sucks. All right, let's say that again with our audience. We've got a right. semi-ripe Hi-Hi. Hi-Hi. Hiachi Hi-Hi. persimmon. Um, it actually tastes kind of all right. Yeah, it'd be, it's like a melon. Right. They actually, I mean, they taste good when they're ripe. This is just a semi-ripe Hayachi persimmon. If you're out there listening and you ever, like, come across a persimmon tree that's the Hayachi type and it's really unripe, I encourage you, if you like new experiences, if you like new things, take a bite of it. It's crazy what will happen to your mouth. And it's really cool. So, like I was saying... Uh, For our second milk, we've got a regular 2% Crescent Ridge. Um, As we mentioned, it comes in a glass bottle, and the fun thing about that is you put a deposit down, uh, and when you finish the milk, you wash it out, and you bring it back, and you get your deposit back. You're so upset. Quinn, you know what will cheer you up? Yeah, I do. This milk. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, you know, it's it's got cream. That much is clear. It's such a refreshing change from that almond water we drank earlier. Yeah. Uh, it's got a full body. It's fresh. It's local. It's from Sharon, Mass. And uh, it's worth the deposit. I agree. Yeah. Well, you want to uh, you rate these milks? Uh, I'm going to give that four squeezes. It's just like one of the best regular 2% you can get. It's so good. And that glass bottle is beautiful. It's really good milk. Um... I've had it before, and I've loved it before, and I love it now. Four squeezes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Four squeezes. Another four squeeze. So this ranks in at our second four squeeze uh, unanimous vote, uh, the other being Organic Valley Chocolate. So this is our best regular milk right now. And here we've got our Blue Diamond Almonds Almond Breeze Almond Milk, all natural. Yeah, Marshall, I'm going to give it one squeeze. Let me tell you why I'm giving it one squeeze. Please. It's watery. It's tasteless. It's a non-dairy beverage. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give this milk zero because I don't plan on drinking it again. For those of you who did enter the melon milk contest uh, and won, you might have noticed that there's a legal obligation to film a response video of you drinking yeah. the entire melon milk. So please have that up as soon as you can. So thank you so much for joining us this week. Uh, You can always view all of our videos at milkadvocate.com. Tune in next week. We'll see you then. (laughs) Bye. (laughs) All right.